All right, everybody, here we go with our first assignment covering Apply Your Knowledge, which is on page OFF83, which is in the Office 2013 and Windows 8 chapter. So in this step, the initial instructions tell us that we're creating a Word folder and creating a basic Word document and saving it in that new folder we're creating. So step one says open the File Explorer window and then double tap or double click to open the Documents Library. So on my screen, the File Explorer button is down here in the taskbar area and you guys should have this icon here it's one of the default icons on a Windows desktop so I'm just gonna single click this icon and it's gonna take me to this PC so kind of off to the left here you can kinda of tell exactly where you're at within the operating system so I'm currently on this PC and step one said the second part of it was to open up the documents library which is this shortcut listed right here you can also click the shortcut listed here on the left hand side but I'll go ahead and double click this option and on this screen this is the documents library so step two says tap or click the new folder button on the quick access toolbar now if you guys are following along on your screen you can see there's a new folder button here that's the same thing but technically the quick access toolbar is this upper left corner on the file explorer window so just to follow along with the instructions I'm going to click this button here and then you could see it takes me directly to the new folder that I just created and straight into the text box step three says type word in the text box to name the folder press the enter key to create the folder in the documents library so I'm just going to type in word hit enter and now I've got the new folder created. Step four says to run Word. Now on most Windows desktops, I'm gonna move this over a little bit, there's not a lot of icons and that's something Windows 8 is trying to do. Uh, they want you to use the start menu or the Windows navigation more so than anything. So down here in the lower left corner, you see this little Windows shortcut. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you can see I'm taken to the start menu. And all I'm going to do is type in WORD to run Word. And then off to the right hand side, you'll see here, here's Word 2013. Let me go ahead and click that. And then Microsoft Word is slowly but surely going to open up. Now, initially, when you're taken into Word, you're presented with an option to open up recent documents, other documents, or create a blank document from scratch or utilize one of the built-in templates. But for this particular assignment, we're just going to do a blank document. So for this one, I'm just going to click on this blank document option. And here I am taken to probably what most of you guys are familiar with, with older versions of Word. So step four tells us to enter the text shown in figure 121, which is going to be on page 83. So the first line of text is ENC 1101. Next line is MTH 1104. Third line is CIS 1000. And then the last line is SPC 1006. You don't need to make any changes to the font size or, or anything like that. No bolding, no underlining. So all we're going to do for step six is tap or click the save button on the quick access toolbar, navigate to the word folder in the documents library, and then save the document using the file name apply one class list. So take that step by step. Uh, once again, in the upper left corner, that's our quick access toolbar. So I'm just going to click on this little floppy disk icon, which is the save icon. Single click. And then I'm presented with a new screen that says, well, where do you want to save this? So for this option, I'm going to go ahead and on the right hand side, click this browse. All right, and here we go. I clicked on the Browse button, and now it's asking me specifically where I want to save this. So the rest of step six says to save this in the Word folder that we created earlier in this task. So I'm going to, on the left-hand side, go ahead and scroll up and see um, the documents underneath this PC. Just single-click it. And then it's going to list all those items in there. Now, obviously, I've got other folders in there, but I'm going to scroll down, and here's that Word folder I created double click here and then now I'm in that word folder and if you guys are always kind of having a, a tough time figuring out where you're at up here in kind of the address bar you can see I'm in this PC 
Documents Word folder, the one that we created earlier. So the way that Word 2013 works is it takes the first line of text and throws it in there as the file name, but we need to change that. We're told in step six that this needs to be apply one class list, leave it as a Word document, and then I'm going to hit save. So now the document's been saved. So I can go ahead and close out uh, Word because for step seven it says if your quick access toolbar does not show the quick print button, add the quick print button and then go ahead and print the document. Well, I don't need you guys to print this document. We're just uploading it to Blackboard. So you can go ahead and skip step seven and I'm just gonna go ahead and close out Word. So technically that takes care of step seven, eight, and nine. Now to submit this assignment, you need to do one extra thing because within Blackboard, you can't upload a folder. You can only upload documents, uh, spreadsheets, text files. So what we need to do is compress or zip the folder so that we can attach it. So all I'm gonna do is right click on the Word folder that I have created up here I'm going to scroll up until I see send to and then in this sub menu it says compressed zipped folder I'm going to go ahead and click on that option and then you can see off to the right hand side or the left hand side of our original one it says word now I've got one in there from a previous uh, assignment so I'm just going to leave that as the default file name hit enter and now when I go into Blackboard, if I were to submit this like you guys were, I would go ahead and navigate to this assignment, scroll down to where it says choose a file to attach, and select the one with the zipper on it. That lets me know that that's the folder I can submit. And that's pretty much it for this assignment. So make sure you just do the last part of it and submit this assignment in Blackboard, and we'll go ahead and get it graded. See you guys.